Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning 8 test cases for logout functionality. So, I am going to explain you what all the different types of test cases you should write for logout functionality. Before moving further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let us move on and understand what are those 8 test cases you can write for logout functionality. The first test case for logout functionality would be what you should do is once we log into the application by giving username and password then if there is a successful login that means you are inside the application when you are, when you are inside the application you should see the option the logout option when within when you are in the application you should see logout and something on the top right space this is the first test case the second test case is when you click on logout let's say you are going to click on logout link on top of the application normally the logout will be there in the right corner top right corner of the application somewhere in this location verify whether it goes back to the login functionality or login page or not. When you are clicking on logout, it should directly take you to login functionality which, where you will have username and password. That is the expectation of logout functionality. Or if the requirement says that you should go back to some other page, then you should go as per that requirement. The third test cases is when you click on logout you should goes back to login that is a normal behavior now when you click on the browser back button when you click on the browser back button you should not take you back to the application that is the main expectation here if it is taking you back to the application that means the logout did not work properly that is the main intention to validate this test case. I hope you are able to get hold of all the first three test cases. Then let us move on to understand the fourth important test case is perform the logout operation from multiple devices. Let's say you have a laptop, you have a mobile, you have a desktop. Then what you do is try to access the application using all the three devices with the same user then try to log in then followed by logout see what happens in any time you should be able to log in see what happens again the validation needs to be performed based on the requirements defined in your application the certain application you may be able to log on with the multiple uh, locations at the same time in certain application like bank application it doesn't allow you to log in in multiple places at the same time with the same username credentials the fifth test cases would be the login button place or the location this is very important as i was saying the normally the logout button should be there somewhere in this location if the requirement says that if it is somewhere it should be on the bottom then you should validate appropriately. So if it is somewhere in this location, then you should validate appropriately as per the requirement. Then the sixth is, you should also verify the grammar and spell check of the logout panel. You should validate whether it is appropriate or not. And also, it sh the pawn should be as per the requirement specs defined for the logout. These are more of a UX guidelines. These things will be provided in the UX guidelines. How you will be defining this logout link on top of the page. The seventh is 
when you place your mouse on logout then it should be a link it it need not be a text it should it need not be a just text there it should be having a link should be there for logout because link should be there to click the page then the eighth is you should also validate about session id post validation that means every login it creates a session id every login it creates a unique session id if you log out if you log out that session id should get deleted or it should destroyed after logging out if you use the same session id try to log in you should not allow you to log in that that is the eighth important test cases if the application is implemented based on the session id concept then it should not allow once the logout has been done because once the logout is done session session id will get expired so that is the eighth test case i hope some of the test case may vary or it differs based on one application to another application it's again based on the requirements whatever i have given here is these are the general logout functionality and this would give you an idea how to write the test case that that is the main intention of this video on how to write a test case hope you are able to get hold of all the eight test cases for logout functionality